Oh boy, there's a lot to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Euros Recap. Today we're going to be talking about France, England, and Belgium. Oh boy, Kylian Mbappe's first game as a Real Madrid player and as a Real Madrid fan myself, I'm. S That brother, right now, give him back to PSG. PSG, I demand a refund right goddamn now. Because even Josello will goddamn score that. Even Anthony will score that. Give me my refund. I don't care we got him for free. I still need a refund. What's this now? What's this now? <laughs> no way, he's injured. He's got them injured! Oh! <laughs> I was out here all excited to finally watch the brother! Finally, after years, he became a Real Madrid player! And now he broke his nose! Come get him! <laughs> Every football fan, especially Barcelona fan, prayed for Real Madrid's downfall, and here it is! This is the start! Great! And apparently, you'll be wearing this mask right here. Ah, it just doesn't feel right. What's this? Let, let, let me find you a different mask once. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> if you do not wear that Mbappe, I'm sorry. I'm calling Perez myself and terminating your goddamn contract. <laughs> Mbappe, I don't want you to bring Champions Leagues or the Euros or any of that. Just wear this mask and I'll rest in peace peacefully. <laughs> any idea for masks? He literally asked that on the social media as well. <laughs> There it is, he literally has it as well. He has the goddamn mask. Please just wear it. Not that one, but like a, a rubbery one, you know, so you could see properly. Please just wear <laughs> But let's talk more about the game. The game ended 1 0. An own goal which started from Kylian Mbappe himself. So that's something good. You could say he scored that, goal, but not really. <laughs> and apparently, he will not be playing for the rest of the group stage. I don't know how true is that, but most likely he's just going to wear the mask, the black masks, unfortunately, and he will be playing normally, and he will be destroying teams normally, so... I mean, what's plan B if Mbappe does not play group stage matches? What, Dembele? <laughs> you think they'll put Dembele in that mix? You think Dembele is a, is a bloody replacement for killing Mbappe? Oh, be for real, man. Just be for real. If he was facing FC Barcelona, maybe, but I don't think he's doing anything in that pitch without Kylian Mbappe. And that's really it from the France game. How about we move on to the previous game, which was England, which I did not talk about. But before doing that... Wow. <laughs> Get me a girlfriend! England game, ladies and gentlemen, started off with a Saka cross, ended it with a Bellingham goal, ladies and gentlemen. A header, uh, you could say a normal header, you know, a normal goal, normal goal from Bellingham. Now, the way you saw that goal is very different from the way I saw that goal. Why? You saw it as a normal goal, Bellingham, wow, he scored for your country, great, great, mate. The way I saw it. The glazing this brother is about to get from the English media. You already know how much glazing Bellingham gets from the media alone for winning, for even touching the ball in Real Madrid. Now imagine the glazing for his country. You think I'm being deluded? Okay, okay. How about I show you 4K proof? <laughs> Bloody listen to this. Oh, Maka, look how relaxed he is. Oh, no. I've never seen a 90 year old that relaxed. Mm. Oh, Confidence he, he has is he's he's so amazing. mature as well when you speak to him. You know, his vocal. Seven seconds in. He's so mature for his age. His vocabulary. How does that even do anything with football? And then he says what I think. Happily, the way he handles himself. And he's. 
they love him in Madrid already mm. but it's what he does off the pitch as well very humble oh the staff God. love him the CEO speaks very very highly of him and this is away from the pitch so it shows what type of what type of man he is this is the most gl what relax get it out of your mouth already you're jumping on it at this point you're deep in <laughs> I swear to God, there's a lot of youngsters who does the same as his brother, who performs the same as his brother. <laughs> even Vinicius Jr., who's close to his age, who has the same numbers. They don't even glaze him like that. Look at this brother. You see the difference there? It's the English goddamn passport, man. It's literally the English passport. Same game, right? Look at what the commentator says to Bellingham. Look at this pass, right? Ooh. It's a nice pass. It's a nice pass. But he is a professional footballer. And I'm certain <laughs> amateur football can do that. And I'm certain even I could do that. <laughs> but look and hear what the commentator says. I cannot show the full clip. But look. Ooh, what about that for a volley? Yeah? Technique. Look at that. The technique. Look at that. You jump on it. Just jump on it! Make sure you loop that thing before you jump on it! And do you really blame the brother? I mean, he is amazing. He is an amazing footballer. He will get hate because he's doing amazing, especially at a young age, compared to some of you guys who are playing Fortnite still. So, in the interview, right, this interview, look at the way he handles himself. Why am I glazing him? But <laughs> Hey Jude, the fans celebrated you again with the Beatles song, Hey Jude. So what does that mean to you? And do you listen sometimes to the Beatles or are you, are you too young for that? <laughs> no, I like the Beatles. I listen to the Beatles a lot. Um, my my uh, style of music's a bit old, so um, that that's right on my street. But yeah, I really... 20 years old listening to the Beatles. How long was the Beatles here? The Beatles started in 1960. This brother was born in 2003. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's music. I don't want to listen to him. There is no way this brother is out here listening to the Beatles. Why does he want to make himself like an old player? Like he's so mature that he sits in the media. <laughs> Perfect. I know everything. Hey Jude, that song from Beatles. Oh, I listened to that. <laughs> Mate. Why is he lying? You listen to Drake and Lil, Lil, I don't know, Lil D, I don't know. <laughs> I really enjoy um, playing in front of the England fans. You know, I think it's a different experience for me because obviously I play abroad. So when I can hear. Yeah, yeah, just, just read the script. Read, is it written here? Is it written on the screen there? Is it written on the table you're looking at? The same script. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. Ha, ha. Why are footballers so goddamn scripted? Zidane or Pirlo? Zidane. Zidane okay. or Xavi? Zidane. I mean, he did say this is Zidane either. Zidane or Iniesta? Zidane. Zidane, okay. Zidane or Modric? Modric. Modric or Crows? <laughs> it's like your mum and your dad, that, innit? <laughs> Wait, wasn't Zidane your idol? When you joined Real Madrid? Oh, you lied because you never actually grew up with Zaydan? Oh, yeah, starting to make sense. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. I, re I support Real Madrid. I like Jude Bellingham. But this brother is so goddamn scripted. <laughs> you only said that you idolize Zaydan. It's because you joined Real Madrid and you wanted the number five. And you wanted a little story <laughs> there to be the next. Zaydan. If you ask Jude Bellingham what's his favorite moment <laughs> while watching Zaydan, he would probably say, oh, that one game against Brazil. <laughs> that's everyone's favorite moment. Because that's the moment <laughs> and the clip that got Zaydan known for on the social media. <laughs> Him and his amazing performance against Brazil and destroying that team. Everyone saw that clip, <laughs> including you. That's why you would probably give that answer. <laughs> And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it on Belgium. Belgium, they had a game and they have lost against, I believe, was Slovenia or Serbia. I don't know who it was really. Slovenia, I believe. And which is a very shock, they, like shock moment, in my opinion. Romulo Lukaku, ladies and gentlemen. Romulo Lukaku, the, you could say, greatest strikers of our generation. The greatest man. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh. The fact that he was even offside. It's like, can you even, can you score at least? Even though it will be offside and the goal will be disallowed. Can you at least score? How is this brother still a starter? That's my question. What are you doing there? Are you a defender or a striker? I genuinely don't get it. Two, he scored two goals which were disallowed by the VAR. You know what's so funny? Lukaku has more international goals than Pele. <laughs> and there it is added to the list ladies and gentlemen oh my god man and that is it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching yet another episode of the euros hey, ladies and gentlemen is portugal's game the game i have i am looking for on that team that i will be supporting obviously portugal so let's see what happens to give a prediction i think ronaldo is going to score a brace the game will end 2-0 Thanks so much for watching, subscribe if you new, like and comment, I read every single comment, thanks so much and gracias.